Hi, in this lesson we'll be seeing about the AD utility called AD Relink. First we'll see what is AD Relink.sh, then we'll be seeing the syntax to use AD Relink.sh and what are the use cases. And finally we'll be seeing what is the difference between AD Relink.sh and Relink application programs option which is there in AD Admin. Firstly, the AD Relink utility or AD Relink.sh is basically an AD utility which is used to relink the executables. So let's say for example, if you are an Oracle DBA, then you would know that Oracle Home binaries can be basically relinked using a command called relink all. So similarly here also, if there is any executable that is corrupted in AD product, then that can be relinked using AD, AD relink. So how do you run this one? We basically have to use a script called adrelink.sh which is located in ad top bin. So the syntax to use this one is adrelink.sh space force equal to y and ad followed by the name of the utility which you want to or executable which you want to relink. So in the previous lessons we have seen that there is an option called relink application programs in AD administration or AD admin. So what is the difference between that and this option? Both actually perform the same task but the most important thing is that the relink application programs option which is there in AD admin, this can be used only for relinking executables which are non-AD. So because as usual, as a simple thing, an obvious thing which you need to understand here is AD admin for example is a AD utility and if you are using AD admin then obviously if AD admin itself is corrupted for example and you want to relink AD admin then you cannot use the option relink application programs because AD admin itself is actually corrupted and you want to relink it. So in such cases basically you will be using AD relink.sh. So the main difference between AD relink.sh and relink application program option is that relink application programs can be used to relink any executable of any product except AD. And AD relink.sh though can be used for all the products, it's mainly used for AD. Let us see an example now. So I have logged basically into my vision instance which is 12210 vision instance. First I'll go to my base directory and let us hit the environment. So now go to edit of bin and you should be able to see ad relink.sh here. So what I have to do is ad relink.sh space force equal to y ad ad patch. So as you can see here, it is basically relinking the executable now. Done. Always remember the status should be exiting with zero, which means that the success, the activity has been successful. Now, if you see the log file, you should be able to see that AD patch has been successfully relinked. You can see here, relinking module AD patch in product AD. This is what you need to understand about AD relink.sh.